And so she wakes up, time to break down. She left a note up on the dresser, and she's right on time. Hey, hey, YouTube, this is Red Sox Fan back again with Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 55, and I am here. Let me just buff up really quickly at the Zul Daya ruins in north, uh, I'd say northwestern uh, Stranglethorn Vale, and I'm going to be doing the quest headhunting that we have, we've had for a while, and it tasks us with killing uh, uh, Blood Scout pal uh, headhunters, pardon me, and then uh, looting them to get uh, shrunken heads. We need 20 of them, and now, unfortunately for us. Uh, these headhunters don't look to be uh, in numerous quantities as opposed to their counterparts, uh, their witch doctors and uh, berserkers, and uh, yeah, that's it. There's only uh, about three different mobs in this area. There's two locations we can kill uh, headhunters and uh, gather shrunken heads from. Uh, one, the first that I'm here, is the the Zuldaya ruins, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and the other is the ruins of Zulkunda, which is just uh, to the east. And whoa, what's that? Yojamba Island. I've never, I've never been out here. Hold on, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little exploring. Let's go underwater, I guess. Do a little dog paddle to get over there. Um, what is this? Yojamba Island. Yo, Jamba Juice Island. I've never been out here, like, on any character when I played on retail from when I started playing until I stopped playing recently on retail. Well, I didn't... It wasn't recent. It was, like, 2012 was, like, the last time I really played. Um, seriously. Wow. What is this? I feel like this must be, like, a, a, a quest... A little hub for, um, Zulgrub or something. Because they're all elites... They're trolls. They're part of the Zandalar tribe, which is, uh... Hand of Rastakhan? I don't know who Rastakhan is. That's not Rastakhan. Maybe he's up there. There's someone green up there. Maybe we can talk to him. This music, though. Listen to this music. This is nice. Hmm, yeah. Never heard this before, either. There must be, like, a special tune. A special, uh, soundtrack. Just for... Alright, here we go. Heart of Hakkar. Okay. That's strange. Yeah, this, this is probably definitely... Uh, for any veteran players, this is probably definitely a, a hub for uh, the Zulgrub raid. Which I, I never never done, so I don't know. I was too late for that party. Altar of Zanza. We call upon you, Zanzar of Zuldzar. Bless those that ask for your help, Loa Zanza. Bless those that would ally with the Sandalarian people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys have read the book, uh, there's a, a World of Warcraft book called, uh, gosh, I forget what the title is. It, it focuses on, um, gosh, now I'm blanking on his name. Uh, he's the Vol'jin. The, uh, he's now the... Uh, we're out of fish oil, darn, can't water walk. He's now the war chief for the horde. Uh, he was the leader of the trolls in, like, the starting zone and all that stuff. He had a book written, like, fo that focused on him during Mists of Pandaria. Forget what it was called. It was written by, uh, Christy Golden, if I'm not mistaken. And, yeah, he talks about Loa, the Loa, and they're basically, like, the, the gods that the trolls, um, worship, and, uh, who they sacrifice to to g grant them strength like during battle and and stuff like that it was pretty interesting uh, i like the book i enjoyed it he um he part well he didn't really partner up but he made friends with a human uh who i don't think existed in the game just purely lore wise and in the end i think did the human die i can't remember they were ambushed by uh by the group of people who were working with uh Grimash. No, that was a different book. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So back to this. Uh, gotta kill headhunters. We got two shrunken heads from killing just the one, and here are two right here. So um, I think we can take on two at a time. What do you think? I think so. Um, have to be careful not to get that one. Um, let's set up. Do we want mana spring or healing? I'll go healing, and definitely searing. Let me attack him first. 
And then I'll set up Searing. And I gotta attack him. No! Alright, cool. Whoa, did that, did that crit? I think my frost shot critted. He did like half its health. That's crazy. Alright, yeah, we got this. We got this, guys, so don't have to worry about taking on two at a time. For Luckily for me, I, I suppose, uh, these mobs are... Well, these were 36. The other one might have been 37. There are definitely uh, some mobs at around 37. Uh, maybe as high up as 38. I'm not sure which is my level. But that's fine by me. Uh, I might have talked about this before. So these are drop. They're dropping two at a time. So really, we only have to kill tin hun hun tid head hunters, Blech. Uh, which isn't that bad. And I've mentioned this before, but there's a weird, uh, like, sort of glitch on this realm um, that has to do with. I think it has to do with uh, glancing blows, where if you're not like the same level as your as the mob you're attacking or um, higher than if you're if you're a lower level if you're a lower level just period um, when you do melee the melee is gonna hit for like a lot less I don't know it's weird like 90 percent less damage or something like that so you have to be like uh, at least the same level or higher um, so that's level 35 there's a headhunter over there I think we can sort of sneak up around here. The only problem is uh, we're going to take on a bunch of mobs that I don't really want to take on. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. This is the only quest that I have over in this area. Um, the ruins of Zulkinda and uh, the Zuldaya ruins. Uh, and so I'm going to finish killing off all these headhunters, getting all these shrunken heads, and then I'm going to meet you guys back in um, Gromgal, turn the quest in, and then we have some quests to do over... Um, over in, in, I guess, it would be called the middle of Strangle the Reveal, I guess. I don't know. What would you call that area of land? So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, back here at the Gromgal base camp, and let's go ahead and talk to Nimboya and turn this quested headhunting, turn in the 20 shrunken heads, and we get, uh, we can pick either between the Dark Spear Cuffs and the uh, Arm Splints. But those are male, and I don't get to wear that until I'm level 40, so I'll go with the cuffs instead and uh, keep them for my, I guess, healing offset. I guess I should start building one of those up, huh? Um, so I guess I'll put that, like, in the bank or something. I don't know. And uh, there is a follow-up quest to that, Blood Scalp Clan Heads, and he wants us to bring Ganzula's head and Nezi Nezliox head to the Bubbling Cauldron, and I have no idea where those are. Uh, Nimboya has another quest called a uh, grim message but that takes place in the hinterlands so i don't want that uh you know clogging up our our quest log and you might hear my dog in the background barking because she wants to be fed and uh, i'm not very pleased with her barking right now let me see here the vile reef i think this quest is elite because uh we need to get the tablet shard from Murloc, so that's why I haven't done it, because um, all the mobs right here in the Violet Reef are like el elite Murlocs, and I don't want to be, um, you know, swarmed and um, pummeled in five seconds. Let me uh, check out the uh, Clan Heads quest really quick. It is orange, so we're going to be uh, slightly underleveled, but not too bad. We, we, we should manage... Yineku, Yineku was among the heads, and I thank the Great Servant for it, because, uh, but we are no longer closer to finding him. Oh, was not among the heads. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they are deep within Zulkunda. Oh my gosh, so we're going to have to head on back t to Zulkunda. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut away, and I'll head back over there, and uh, I'll meet you guys again wherever they are located. I'll find them, and I'll tell you guys where they are, like on the map and whatever. So we're going to have to go uh, get... Ganzula and Nezliak. Alrighty guys, so I'm here at the ruins of Zolkunda, and I have actually grouped up with a uh, 38 orc hunter, even though she looks like, uh, he looks like a female um, human. Uh, she, it, or he, is transformed into a pirate. Um, so you might be wondering, well, where the hell are the, all the mobs? Um, so a 60 mage ran in here and uh, killed them all before I had the chance to, you know, try and pick off the two leaders, they actually spawn uh, right across from each other. Uh, 
it might be hard to uh, sort of tell where they are, but if you come in from the back, you're going to have to make your way uh, through this main road and then, uh, you know, obviously take the right and then go up this ramp and um, they spawn. Nesliox spawns right around here. And then, um, uh, what's the other dude's name? Ganzula spawns right over here. So Nesliox is actually a witch doctor and then Ganzula is like a berserker. Uh, they're 40 and 41 respectively. So I guess we're just going to be waiting uh, for them to respawn, which I don't think should take too long. And actually, I think uh, Farsight kind of glitched on me, and so, like, I used it beforehand, and I ran over here because none of the mobs were showing up, like, but they were attacking me, so, like, they were invisible. And see, I think these mobs are dead, but they're, like, there's, like, three or four of them over there that, like, follow me wherever I go, <laughs> and they have me targeted, but they're not doing anything, so I have no idea what the heck is going on. Uh, so we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna check out this, this dude's armor if I can. Oh, he's got he's got an epic bow, bow of searing arrows. Whew! I wonder where you get that from. I have no idea actually. Nice DPS, but then plus one to five fire damage, huh? Well, see that's strange. This dude was dead beforehand, and now he's apparently alive. You guys saw that, right? I hope you guys saw that. That was weird. I have no idea what is going on. I think I need to reload, um, like relog, and then I'll be fixed, but I'll do that afterwards. So right now we just uh, need their heads. Yeah, so I guess one thing I'll talk about that I wanted to talk about was uh, I reached 500 subscribers, which was one of my, I guess, like goals or milestones or whatever. Um, and it might not sound that, that big of a deal, but uh, to me it is. And uh, 500 people who at the moment I think the last time I checked it was 505 so um, thank you guys this it's 505 people who say you know what I like this guy um, I'm a, whoa there goes everybody let's try and get Nesliok oh shit this is not gonna end well uh, let's take out Nesliok first though hey that was mine Alright, so Nesliok's dead. Let's go ahead and take care of uh, these other headhunters. <coughs> uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, 505 people who said, you know what? I like this guy. I like his videos. I like him. I'm going to, um, you know, subscribe and follow his content every video, watch every video. And I'm very thankful for you guys for doing that. And let's go ahead and take care of this Blitzcom Berserker. Next on the list. Uh, so thank you. 500 that is a lot of people to me when I first started out I you know I had like zero obviously and I slowly started to um I'll get that get that head and um I don't think Ganzula's spawned yet so let's just uh I guess make our way over there and then and then hit him up guess I'll get that other shit the hog stink I don't see Genzul anyway. He should be right there. But he's not there, so I don't know. Yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, there's been like a core group of people who, who ma mainly comment on every video I make and they have stuck with me through. I think it's coming up on two years. Um, I actually think, geez, I think the anniversary for this Let's Play was like February 18th or the 11th or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's been like, God, has it been three years? Was this the third third year anniversary? <laughs> I think I started in 2012. Yeah, it's been three years. Two? Three. I hope it's two. I don't want to, I hope it's not three. Because uh, that'd be embarrassing. But if it's three, it's three. You know, I have nothing I can do about that. But, um, geez, it's taking me three years to level up to 38. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, it means a lot. And I'm never, I don't even, I'm not even, get out of here oh <laughs> we both passed on it okay well I might take it then just to sell it on the schematics so yeah I've I think my first let's play was gosh it was uh what was it should he be there where is he where is this cat come on Ganzula 
should have spawned there. I don't think he has a different spawn. Um. Hmm. Let me look around. Oh, well, it says I'm entering combat. I don't know with who. Don't see anybody. Um, Ganzula, Ganzula. I think that's his permanent spawn location. I have no idea. Oh, I'm dazed. Oh, I'm super dazed. What's going on here? That's strange. Dazed again. See, this is what I'm talking about. I got I glitched, apparently. There are mobs attacking me, but I do not see them. Why do I not see them? They're dying, apparently. There's some blood scalpers. See, look at this dude. This dude's attacking me like he knows me. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Maybe if I, uh... Is Siri totem? Ah, there he goes. Yes! Okay, and there's Ganzula. He's back over here. This is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Gosh. I don't. I want him to attack him first with his pet. I'll let the pet tank. That's a. That's a good plan. Oh well, that's not gonna happen. So, holy fuck, that dude just hit me for like 300. It was like a th sixth of my health right there. Guys, this is on my spells too. Jeez, this dude hits like a truck. Oh no, poor Q. You da duck. Oh. Alright guys, um where was I going with that? Oh yeah, my first I was gonna talk about my first let's play series. Um What? <laughs> There's something I think definitely wrong. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna book out of here. But I'm gonna talk for a little bit. Oof. Go ahead and attack me, I don't care. So my first Let's Play series I think I ever started was, um, it was World of Warcraft, and it was actually a Torn Druid. I still have the files, because I was doing it on the same exact desktop as before. Um, it was Torn Druid, I, I think I did, got like six episodes worth, and then I, and then after that, Cataclysm came out, that's what it was. And so everything was all completely different, um, I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna leave the party, so... Alright, so we got that quest done, and so I was doing that Let's Play until Cataclysm came out, and then it changed, you know, how Cataclysm changed, like, all the entire old zones, so I was like, well, shit, I can't continue this Let's Play, because it's not going to be the same again, so I started a new Let's Play. Yeah, I'm going to have to relog. Look, none of the mobs are showing up. This is really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. It's definitely a, a Farsight glitch, or bug, I should say. Not a glitch. Um... No, nah, I guess it's a glitch. Anyway, so after Cataclysm came out, I started uh, the Rogue Let's Play, and these guys are looking for Armory and Library. I might do that. I'm not sure. Off screen, obviously. And um, so I started the Rogue Let's Play, uh, Goblin Rogue. She's female. I named her uh, Cunt. Uh, C U N T, obviously. And uh, all those videos are still up. You can guys can go watch them uh, if you want. And actually. Hmm, let me think. I got pretty far, and I... I definitely plan on, like, finishing that Let's Play. I might, you know, start over, delete all the old ones, and then restart a new one after I'm done with, you know, Vanilla, Brinksade, Wrath of Lich King. You know, five years down the road when I, uh, get all these other Let's Plays done. <coughs> what else? Um, so yeah, and then I started this Let's Play, and then I'm... was doing Kingdoms of Amular at one point, but then I stopped that and deleted it. And at one point I was doing uh, Pokemon, I think I was doing Leaf Green, but that kind of felt boring because I was just, you know, doing like uh, a pre-made, a pre-selected team that like I, I was running, like I, you know, picked out all the 
team members beforehand, so I said, yeah, screw that, I'm going to do Fire Red, and then I'm going to do uh, Randomize and Nuzlocke Challenge, so I'm still doing that, and actually I just released a new episode, I can't remember how many days ago, but you guys um, aren't watching that one as much as my vanilla Let's Play, which is uh, understandable, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be right back, guys, I'm going to have to re-log, and then hopefully everyone will be here, so yeah, I will see you guys uh, back over by Nimboya. You should be over there somewhere by this cauldron. We gotta toss their heads in the cauldron. Uh, so I'm gonna log. Be right back. Alrighty, guys, back here uh, at the Gromgal base camp, and uh, we actually have to. I think we talked to the cauldron. <laughs> yeah. All right, Blood Scalp clan heads. Toss those in there. You place the heads within the cauldron, and we leveled up. Yeah. Suck on that. Do we have a quest? We have two quests. Speaking with Nesliok. Bring a Balia Ma trophy. A Zayata Jai trophy and a Zul Mamwi trophy to the Bubbling Cauldron. Alright, there's one more quest speaking with Ganzula. Same thing. Well, we gotta kill uh, Skull Splitter people. And then we gotta bring some armor to him. And Grim Message still. So, no new quests that I can see. Um, but we do have uh, obviously those two that we just got. Speaking with Nezliok is yellow. Um, geez, a bunch of these became yellow after that. Sweet. So, uh, we level up, you know what that means? That means we got an extra talent point. Uh, we have reached 39, we've gained 30 hit points and 19 mana. Not that much, but what are you going to do? One talent point. Increased all my base stats, minus, uh, what did I not get? Strength, Stam, Int, Spirit. I didn't get something. Agility. <laughs> the one thing I want as an enhancement shaman. <coughs> so all the base stats increased by one. And that's it. So let's uh, put our last point into uh, weapon mastery. Boom! That is done. We got a 10% damage increase with all weapons. So that's looking real neat. And uh, once we hit level 40, man, ooh, we get Storm Strike, and we are basically done with this uh, talent tree. Uh, I'm gonna put wep uh, points into improved weapon totems, but after that, we're going uh, we're going for this right here, Elemental Devastation. I think we'll go. Concussion to do more damage. Call of Flame and uh, maybe Elemental Wording. And then the Shock Cooldown. And then Elemental Devastation, baby. Your offensive spell crits will increase your chance to get a critical strike with melee attacks by... It'll be 15%, I believe. No, no. That's not right. 9%. 10%? I think it's 10% is the last one. <clears throat> There's Q-Dub right there. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording for. But I'm going to say fuck it and do another quest. So let's go over and I um, guess we can do we can do all of these. Holy cow. Uh, Blood Sail Buccaneers. That's North Booty. That's over here. Oh, where's all my quests at? Stop that. Scary Shaky. Get some Mistvale Giblets. We got Hunt Down Elder Mistvale Gorillas. I might as well head on out there while I'm talking. I think I have um, at least some knowledge of where I'm heading. Okay, Baliyama, Zayatajai, and Zulmamwe. So that's Zayatajai. There's Zulmamwe, and Baliyama is also over here. So yeah, we're going over there. I guess we'll do speaking with Nezliok. That one seems fine. On the way, we can do Mock Thardens and Shaking Scary. Cause, well, I don't know if we can do them both. But we got to kill Elder Mistvel Gorillas. You know what? I think those are actually down towards Southern Barrens. Or Barons, I keep saying Barons. Um, in my head, I'm saying Barons. Uh, String of Thorn Bale. Let me see here. Snapjaw, Sharp Tooth. Alright, you can attack me, that's fine, because you can't swim, so. Suck my dick. Oh, you can actually run. Oh my lord. <laughs> he could run, and his head is still above the water. Alright, that's what I like to see. GG. Over here, there are gorillas, but they're, um, what are they called? Th like thunder stompers or thunder clappers? What are they called? Well, I'll see in a second. Oh, jungle thunder. Alright, so that's not the gorillas we want to kill. We want to go down and kill elder misvales, which are more towards booty bay, I guess. So we can do that. Uh, skull splitters. So we gotta get split bone necklace as well, I guess. We can't do all these in the same episode, which, uh, Unfortunately, but we can do most of them. Uh, most of my quests turned. 
you know, green and and then some of them turned, you know, yellow and whatnot. Hello, Dowsner. All right, so we need uh, a trophy. I think we just get it from. Oh, thank you very much. You are too kind. All right, I think we get it just by killing him. Let me read the quest first. That would probably help, actually. Head of Nesliok speaks is true. To gain my favor, steal from the three skull blazer trophy skulls. Alright, so let's just, um, uh, those are just all warriors, that's a mystic, I don't think there's like a special mob inside here that we have to kill, I think we can just kill like, you know, maybe, maybe we have to get like a skull, oh yeah, there it is, trophy skulls, so we gotta get in there, uh, and, uh, get that skull. Alright boys, let's do this, I've been watching, jeez, I've been watching, uh, Cryptarian stream, um, on Twitch, for like I don't know a very long time since since last year actually yeah it's been like a year I started watching them last year uh, when I was in a in an apartment uh, at school and um, yeah so he says boys a lot like talking about the his viewers and the people who like spam the Twitch stream chat so I, I guess that sort of it's, I'm catching on to that, but I don't want to use boys because, like, he he uses boys, you know what I mean? We can't just run in there, so we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to be smart about this. Let's go over here. Alright, cool. As long as we don't spawn more than one at a... If we spawn, like, one at a time, I mean, spawn aggro, then we can do this. If we do two at a time, I don't know, that'd be hard. They're level 40 still. And the thing I said about uh, the glancing blows, you know, is in effect. I don't know what it is. I didn't mean to hit purge. He doesn't have anything I can purge. I meant to heal. <coughs> and you know, when when we get flurry procs and like wind wind uh, wind fury weapon procs, those like work normally, like crits and things. But normal attacks don't work normally. Uh, let's see, 25. No, that's not it. I attack, he parries. 67, glancing. Um, 91. 92. Well, I guess it doesn't look that bad. A crushing blow. Jeez, what's a crushing blow? I don't know, is that like a crit? I don't think it's like a critical. It's a crushing blow. Alright, let's do this. Let's get it. No! Oh no! We got the x sword too! Oh my gosh, my luck is... No, don't go over there. Holy lord. Lots of splitters. Why would you why would you do that? Well, as long as we keep the axe thrower at bay, I think we can actually manage this because uh, he's just throwing axes. It's not doing that much damage. Let me go back to general. Looking for group. ST. Stratholm? Is that Stratholm? I think it is. Suck my totem. Get over here. Yeah, we got this, boys. Don't worry about that. Okay, so after I get these uh, trophy skulls, I'm gonna cut away and um, jeez. No, no, don't go over there. Why'd you do that? Well, he doesn't aggro it, so it's fine. All right, we got the trophy, and we got the kill too, so that's fine. Okay, so here is my plan. I don't. Well, I guess I can. I don't want to like keep you know running around and talking about fucking nonsense. While I kill, I have to kill a bunch of mobs. And uh, can we go up this way? Is this a smart way to go? I guess I'll do that. So there's an axe thrower. I don't really want to. I want to kill as few mobs as possible. Uh, which doesn't sound very smart, you know, because you want experience and all that. But yeah, you know, we could do that. For, we get more experience from quests and killing mobs. Fuck mobs. So let's just go over here. And um, I hear we're at Zoom Mom Way. And these dudes are 41. Whew. And 42. Whew. Jeez. This is going to be tough. Man, these Beastmasters. I want to not kill the Beastmasters, please. Because uh, that's like killing two mobs for the price of one. Uh, where's the trophy at? It's going to be around somewhere. Let's check it out. So there's a Beastmaster. I don't want to go over there. 
Uh, I'm gonna sneak all the way around. All right. There's also a cave over there. I don't think I don't know what the cave is. I've never been been there before. Is it part of the ruins? Is it? Oh wait, no. Is this like a a tunnel? I can't remember honestly. It looks like there is a mob in there. Come on. Oh yeah, skull splitter. Oh, there's Anna Thek, the cruel. So we actually have to. Um, that's for the quest. That's for the one quest. Uh, speaking with Genzula, we gotta kill skull splitter dudes and uh, hunter, headhunter, berserker, and then we gotta kill um, Anna Thek and get his armor. But at the moment we cannot do that because he's. Uh, very over leveled for us. Let's sneak around here. Oh shit balls. Alright, we're committed to this. Let's do this. Leroy and Jenkins. Man, we're just gonna aggro fucking everybody. Alright, let's do it. Whoa! There was a earth there's a rock elemental in there. <laughs> that that really that's a skull splitter panther. I don't think so. Where is the heads? Where's the trophies? Oh jeez, dude. I'm gonna die. Actually, I think because I'm Ghost Wolf, I think I won't die. Yeah, hopefully they're over here. Spirit Chaser, 44. What are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you guys 44? Why, don't be 44. Uh, you know what? I want to use Farsight, but that will, you know, glitch me again. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh, god damn it. I think, uh, hopefully they're over here. I'd rather be over here than anywhere else. Oh, shit. There's two dudes on me. Where are the trophies? Well, they're not over there. Let's keep on looking. <sighs> well. Might have to Google it. I don't know. So, Momway trophy. Get out of here. And the last from Zulmamwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your Zulmamwe. I'll show you Zulmamwe. Oh god, there's so many mobs everywhere. Why? Why do you do this to me? Alright, we're looking for a pile of trophy skulls. Do you see them? I do not see them. I don't want to get any closer because I'm going to aggro everybody. See? Just like that. I aggroed some Beastmasters. I don't want to kill Beastmasters. My fear is that they're over here. Uh, in the middle of this smorgasbord of nonsense. Jeez, these guys are fast. Why are these guys so fast? Oh lord. Why are there so many mobs is my question. <laughs> oh jeez. We might just uh, make our way to Balima, I guess, since we can't do anything over here. Honestly, I have no idea where they are. But I like, I might have to Google it or something. I can kill that warrior, but really, what would that accomplish? Because I'd have to kill that spirit chaser anyway. Alright. Oh, damn it, we were so close. Thought we made it. So, this is a hunt hunter right around the wall. Here comes a spirit chaser now. Just looking for some skulls, people. Oh, jeez, Louise. It's not fucking around. Alright. We did it. We're safe. We're out of combat. It does not look like there's any skulls over here. Curzon Mind Slave? That's cool. Um, nope, no skulls. What about over here? I think we got fucking rock elementals as panthers. Those are not panthers, people. Come on. Uh, I don't see any skulls. I'm gonna have to Google this. Um, I'm gonna keep talking while I Google it, though. So, <clears throat> as some of you guys may or may not know, there are two new uh, vanilla World of Warcraft servers uh, coming out and actually I think one's coming out Saturday one's opening like officially uh, I forget what its name is uh, but the other one is called like Kronos Wow or something I'm gonna have to you know 
do my research and then talk to you guys about it. I'm definitely going to check them out um, because apparently uh, they're a lot better than uh, this Emerald Dream server is. Let's see here. Well, this picture is no help at all. Oh, are you, are you going to show me the location? or well, That kind of sort of helps. I think it's over... I don't... You know what? It's not... It's not in one of these encampments. I mean, which is, you know, good for us. It's out in the road somewhere. So let's go ahead and uh, find it. And there's trees that I saw. I think it's over... Over here somewhere. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go up and around. Try not to aggro these guys. Well, I aggroed them. I'm just gonna check over here really quick. So we know by googling where it isn't. <clears throat> so let's make our way to where it is. School splitter warrior. Oh, you know what? It might be up here actually. There's some mystic. Are these guys still attacking me? Oh, that guy is. I think the other guy's, you know, fucked off. Oh, let's let's go up here real quick. See what we can find. Nope, nothing. I just want this guy to, you know, get off my sack. Okay, so we got a mystic. We got a warrior. Don't got skulls. Don't have skulls. Repeat. No skulls. So it's it looked like it was it was on the road. It looked like there were some trees around it. And uh you know that's basically all I could tell from that picture. The picture is terrible. I mean they 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 put a picture like on Wow Wiki of a close up of the skulls. What help is that gonna do me? I wanna know where they are. This is just one giant mess. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <clears throat> well, I done goofed. Uh, hopefully, I can, uh, you know, get the fuck out of there before they come and kill me. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna like run around. Oh balls! Let's hope I don't get days. Oh jeez! Oh lord! I'm gonna die right now. This is it. By cruel world, I hardly knew ye. Can I see the skulls from here? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're nowhere to be found. Isn't that, isn't that the way? All right, fuck. You know what? I think I dick around so much. I wasted a bunch of time. I'm probably just gonna have to like end the episode right here. What what good does this picture do me? It does me no good. Why would you do this to me? So, Momway Trophy Skulls. Let's see what Wowick has to say. <clears throat> oh, well, it gives us the fucking coordinates now. I have no idea where that is, though. Hold on. I don't have coordinates. Damn it. I don't have a coordinate system on my map. So I don't know where it is. Uh, Alright. Well, whoa, what happened there? Did I hit Numlock? Uh, I think I actually hit my uh, my auto run. Alright, guys. Um, Jeez, Louise. So we have a bunch of quests to do for the next episode, which is a good thing. And this episode, I at least got me to see me level up. I'm just going to talk to her. And, uh, and uh, once, I, once I'm done signing off, I'll uh, head over and get my body. So... In the next episode, we will be doing all these quests that you see here in yellow. Maybe not Panther Mastery, because I don't think I can uh, solo that. But uh, speaking with Nezliok, I'll definitely figure out where that last, that where that Zul Mamwe trophy is, and then we'll go to uh, Baliama. And uh, kind of sounds like uh, Bel Bel Bel. Bel uh, never mind. Uh, aged girl is new. These two we do at the same time. It's gonna be somewhere here. It's gonna be like somewhere right right in this area. There's gonna be a bunch of gorillas. And then Winterco Mining Company, we can do that too. That's gonna be over here ish near the mountains. 
uh, gonna kill some, cr uh, what are they called? Not crocolisks, basilisks, I think they're called. And, uh, Bloodsail Buccaneers, I think that's, like, right, not Gennaro's point, but I think it's, like, right here. Like, right when you exit, exit Booty Bay, there's a little opening, I think. It may be, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, that's what I'll be doing in the next episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I got a few quests done. Not many. I think two to be exact. But I at least leveled up. So that is one accomplishment. Looking things, uh, looking, looking at the positive side of things with this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, as always. This has been Red Sox Fan, and I hope you guys stay classy, and peace out.